All right, guys, let me tell you this. The PSA is not a perfect test. If you look at the statistics, only about 25% of people with a raised PSA will actually be diagnosed with prostate cancer. So there are loads of things that can falsely elevate a PSA test. And I know when you go and see a GP and you're called back in to discuss an abnormal blood test, this can bring so much anxiety. So I feel like knowing the five main things that can affect and falsely elevate a PSA test level means that you avoid a lot of this anxiety. That's why I feel like you found this video really helpful. Hi, it's Dr. Derek here. The reason why I make these videos is that I truly believe in creating accessible information that will allow you to make better decisions about your health. So let's talk about the PSA blood test. PSA stands for prostate specific antigen. This is a protein that is created and made in your prostate gland. And the PSA blood test measures the level of this protein in your blood. Our prostate is a gland around the size of a walnut and it's located right below the bladder. And any problems with the prostate can affect the way in which you pass urine. It can also affect sexual function. So let's look at the first thing that can falsely elevate your PSA levels. And this is an active urine infection or if you had a urine infection within the past six weeks. Now, the reason why a urine infection causes your PSA to elevate is because if you remember that the bladder is quite close to the prostate, so any kind of infection or irritation of the bladder can spread to the prostate itself. As we know, PSA is produced by the prostate, so any irritation to the prostate can really elevate the levels of PSA that's produced. So if you have a current urine infection or you've had one in the last six weeks, it's important to let your doctor know so this can be taken into consideration because this will falsely elevate your PSA levels. Now, the second thing that will falsely elevate your PSA levels are any investigations on the prostate itself, such as a prostate biopsy. That's because something like a biopsy will also cause inflammation on the prostate, therefore causing it to release more PSA into the bloodstream. Let's now move on and think about the third thing that can cause a falsely elevated PSA result. This third thing is any sexual activity resulting in ejaculation within 48 hours of your PSA blood test. This is because during ejaculation, your pelvic muscles and also the tissues that surround the prostate itself will contract. And when all this contraction happens, you have more PSA that's released into the bloodstream. Therefore, for this reason, you should avoid any sexual activities that result in ejaculation within 48 hours of your PSA blood test. Okay, so we're nearly through our list of five things. Just want to take a little break to just thank you so much for the support you give me on this channel it really keeps me going and to help this channel keep flourishing and growing i really appreciate it if you leave a like and subscribe to this channel and hit that bell notification to so continue to join our growing community here on adumed thank you for being part of the journey now back to reason number four so the fourth thing that can cause a falsely elevated psa level is intense exercise within 48 hours of your PSA blood test, particularly with intense bike riding. Now this occurs because the area located in this picture here, which we call the perineum, that area is basically being in constant action and being constantly rubbed by the bike seat. And when this occurs, you can see how close the perineum is to the prostate itself. And with that constant pressure, can lead to an increase in the amount of PSA that's released into the bloodstream. And the fifth thing and the last thing in this video that can cause an elevated PSA test is a condition known as benign prostatic hyperplasia. This is a condition that is benign, so it's non-cancerous and essentially is due to an enlargement of the prostate and can result in some issues with the waterworks as discussed before. So it's basically, you know, a poor stream or go to the toilet loads of times for a wee at night time. Now, because this condition can also elevate your PSA levels, that's why it's important to see a doctor so you're fully examined and also having the PSA test. This assessment will then further reassure you by confirming the diagnosis. And your doctor might refer you for further tests if needed. So I hope you leave today's video with a bit more knowledge about some of the things that can falsely elevate your PSA levels. As always, if you found it helpful, please leave a like and subscribe and make sure you check out some of the other videos that we have 
on this channel. And until the next time, I'll see you soon.